When I was in college, it seemed to be so difficult to be successful as a writer, purely as a writer, so I studied medicine, but I had always wanted to write. While I was in medical school, I began to write to pay the term bills. I wrote under a pseudonym because the largest component of your grade is what the professors think of you. And I was quite convinced that if they knew that I was running off to write books, that they would think less of me. John Lang, I drew from my own first name, which is John. And I thought of these books that I was writing, which were sort of James Bond thrillers, as fairy tales for adults. I associated them to Andrew Lang, who was a collector of Victorian fairy tales. He gave me the John Lang book, and I thought it had a lot of spark and flair. The John Langs were pure and wonderful thrillers. I knew that he had written this in a sense to help pay his way through medical school, and that he had much bigger plans afoot. He was a brilliant man who was very creative. He had a wonderful imagination and a capacity to communicate with others so that his attributes were really available for others to appreciate. Here was this very brilliant and talented man, and I, you know, who was still very young, who knew, I mean, what the future would be. Well, I think the John Lang books will be very interesting to read. It'd be like discovering any early product of any great arts. His interests were so broad, the fact that he could write a great mystery novel is uh, not as surprising as it might be if it was somebody else. Mm -hmm.